Okay, so in this example, uh, we are shown a waveform uh, that we are told comes from a current generator. And here's the waveform here. And we're told that this is connected across an initially uncharged capacitor C. And so they're asking us to use this information to see if we can determine an expression for the voltage waveform across the capacitor and also sketch that from zero to two and a half seconds. So let's see how we might go about this. So the first thing we need to do is we need to come up with expression, an expression or expressions to characterize this waveform from the current generator. So to do that, we'll break it up into sections. So first we'll have this red section, and this will be the interval from zero less than or equal to T, less than or equal to 0 0.5. So you can see that right here. It's that interval there. And we should be able to tell by observation, but if not, you, there are several different methods you can use from algebra. To come up with this, you can use the point slope formula, you can use the two point formula, several different ones, but uh, most of, a lot of times you can tell from observation. But for this one, our expression for i is simply 2 times i, which is the, the max and min, uh, times t. So that's our expression for the current from 0 to a half second. Okay. So next, we want to look at uh, this interval here. And so when we do, that's the time interval from 0 0.5 less than or equal to t, less than or equal to 1.5. And again, that's from here to here. I should be able to see that uh, that covers that span. And in the same manner, we can come up with an expression for the current there. Again, using whichever form you want, they give you several points there, or you can figure the slope, several different things. Or just by observation, you should be able to see that it's negative 2 i t uh, plus 2 i. And so that describes the line in blue there. And then finally, uh, we have the last section here that we're going to look at. That's this green section. And so that's going to cover the interval from 1.5 less than or equal to t, uh, less than or equal to 2.5. And so that's the section from here to here. And so that gets us to the uh, period that they ask us to cover. And so here we can come up with an expression for this. should be similar to the first one. So slopes will be the same at least. But it is 2it minus 4i. So it's just shifted there. Okay, so now we've characterized the uh, waveform from the current generator. So now we need to recall, so if we have uh, this current source, which is really what we have, and then it's coming up and over and going to our capacitor, C, and uh, this will be I, so this is what we characterized over here to the right. Um, we need to recall then that the voltage that is going to be 1 over C times the integral over some time of I dt. So that's what we'll use to determine the expression for the waveforms uh, for the voltage across the capacitor. So let's do that. So staying consistent here for the red part that's going to be um, for T. 
oh, excuse me, for zero less than or equal to t less than or equal to 0 0.5. And when that's the case, uh, then we can write, use this expression up here for the voltage and say that the voltage then is going to be equal to 1 over c times the integral from 0 to t. And that's going to be, which in this case will be 0 0.5. And then the expression for I, which we get from the top right over here, is just two, is just two I T D T. And so when we work that integral out, again we'll just keep it in terms of T, so we don't worry about this the limit of integration here. Um, that's going to be I over c t squared. And we'll note then at t equal to 0 0.5 seconds, we can use that to calculate that the voltage should be equal to i over 4c volts. So that's the first. And let me just clean this up here. Okay. So next we're going to look at the blue section. And again, to stay consistent here, there's blue. And this is going to be for 0 0.5 less than or equal to T less than or equal to 1.5. Same thing, we can say the voltage, expression for the voltage is going to be equal to 1 over C integral from 0 to 0 0.5 of I dt, which we just did that above, plus 1 over C integral from 0 to T and then we put in our expression for I, which is minus 2IT plus 2I dt. And so uh, just as a reminder, this part right here, we calculated right here at 0.5 seconds. So that being the case, uh, we can come back here then and fill in uh, some of the values. And so we should have I over 4C. And that's going to be plus um, I over C times minus T squared plus 2T minus 3 fourths. That's the integral of this guy here. And then we combine everything together. And what we come up with then is I over C times minus T squared plus 2T minus 1 half. So that should be a parabola. And so that'll be in volts. And, and again... We are going to evaluate this then um, at t equal to 1.5 seconds, which is at the end of this, this, uh, this portion of the waveform. The voltage then is going to be equal to, as before, I over 4C volts. Okay, so that takes care of the blue part the waveform. Uh, now we will continue on with the green. And so this will be for 1.5 less than or equal to t less than or equal to 2.5. And just as before, we're going to have that v is equal to 1 over c 
integral from 0 to 1.5, so that gets us up to this point, I dt, then plus 1 over C, integral to 1.5 to T, and then we put in our expression 2I T minus 4I, and that's dt. All right, so again, just as before, uh, this guy we evaluated earlier, and that's the guy right here. So now we can drop down and rewrite our expression then as i over 4c, that's the first term, then when we integrate the second term, that's going to be i over c times t squared minus 4t plus 3.75. And then we can combine like terms, clean this up, and what we'll end up with is i over c times t squared minus 4 t plus 4. And again, that's in volts. Okay, so technically, here's our answers. Now remember, these are defined for different time intervals. For, so for the red time interval, um, we just have this guy here. That's our expression for the voltage. For the blue time interval, um, we have this expression here for the volts, voltage. And then for the, the green time interval, we have this. So all three of these combined are actually our three answers for each time interval. So now we should be able to do a quick sketch of this. And so when we do, what we're going to have, let's put our axes out here. And so this is going to be in seconds. And so we'll have 0.5, uh, 1, 1.5, 2, and 2.5, which is what we were interested in. And then over here, this will be volts. And so this is, um, actually it'd be more accurate to say this is time in seconds. All right, and so we're gonna have some peak values uh, that we need to be aware of. And the first one is gonna be here, which is I over 4C which um, we get from here. And then the next one is going to be here, which is I over 2C. And we should be able to uh, recognize that one from here so that when T is equal to zero, that's what we'll, the value we get here, and that's the maximum value we can have. And so we see from the first graph, the first formula, which is here, that takes us from 0 to 0 0.5. And we see when we put in 0, the expression is equal to 0. And so it comes up as a parabola until we get to the 4IC here. So we'll do a parabola like this. And so that's where the next equation picks up. And you can see here... This is the expression to take us from 0.5 uh, to 1.5. And you can see that it, because of this term here, it should be an upside down parabola. And so we should be at the same spot here and it peaks at one, which would be right here. So we'll take this up to here. And then for this last interval, Four and a half to two and a half. We use this equation here. Same thing. Um, we can when we put in values. If we put in the value of two, we see it's going to be zero. And then at the start, 
we're going to be at the I over 4C again. And same thing here. So it's going to be a, another parabola to this point. And so that, that pattern should continue. So then this is the graph. Again, it's piecemeal together at these points by these uh, equations here in purple.